Right. Um, so first of all, Jay, impressions of the polls, you guys coming off a playoff season, picked in the middle of the league again, uh, what, what is your thoughts? Well, you're going to hear this every year, I think the polls don't mean a thing. Um, I'm glad that it creates some uh, talking points and some stuff for the other coaches and media to talk about, but I don't think they mean a thing in this league. You're, the league's so good top to bottom, there's been so many teams that have been picked to finish towards the bottom that have finished towards the top and vice versa that they don't mean anything. Uh, I know this, you better handle the 12th ranked team just like the first ranked team, if not you're going to get beat in this league. What do you think the key factor is in that? I mean, why, why has this league become what it's become? I mean, you have basically 10 or 11 teams that can beat anybody on England, so how has it become that? Well, I think the coaching is outstanding. Um, if, if you just look across the board, I think there's really, really good coaches here. Um, and it's, o it's only got better with, you know, like Jeff Cho going to uh, Montana State and now you got Coach Hawkins at UC Davis and what Ernest has done in Northern Colorado and I could go on and on and on. There's really good coaching in this league and uh, you better show up ready to play because every team I think is is simil similar in talent. Mm -hmm. I do believe that. Every team is very similar in talent. It's just a matter of who holds on to the football and who executes their scheme the best. What, uh, what was the key factor to your guys' success last year? How were you guys able to turn the corner and take that next step to be a playoff? Well, we won some, we won some close games. Um, I think that's key in the big sky. Uh, we overcame some injuries. I mean, we played with our fifth tailback three-fourths of the season. Right. And we didn't have our starting wide out the last couple games of the year. And it was just bottom line, we overcame some injuries and were able to finish with some wins in those games. Uh, key this year is going to be staying healthy, uh, which we have not done yet. So if we can stay healthy, I think we got a chance. We're still going to have to pull off those close games. And we got to get better at taking care of the football. Well, that's that's still been a little bit of our Achilles heel. The way the last year for you, I know we talked to Toronto this year. You said that was something that really aided him during the offseason. So, do you, do you hope that was a motivating factor for you? Guys? Yeah, I hope so. You know, getting to the playoffs was a goal of ours. How we handled it was very disappointing. Uh, going out to Chattanooga, and you got to give Chattanooga credit, but we turned the ball over five times. One of them were crossing the goal line, and they pick it up and return 100 yards for a touchdown. It's just, it's uh, it was the the way it happened, that game should have been much closer than it was. Um, it was a much closer game than the, sh the score showed, and, and th that was that's why it was disappointing. I think we put ourselves in that situation again. We'll handle it much better. You mentioned the, the injuries you guys suffered at tailback. Do you feel like you have a chance to make a big jump in the run game just for the pure fact that you're going to have some of more talented guys back? Around? Yeah, but we need Trayshawn Garrett to stay healthy. We went out and recruited some good backs that will do a good job for us, but we need those guys to stay healthy. And um, We've got four backs that we really feel like we can win with, but you know, if you get past those guys, then it gets hairy again, and, and we need those guys to stay healthy. We need them to run well. Is uh, Eric Wilkes back in the fold as well? Um, he's not right now. Uh, he, he's not right now on our team. Um, so I don't, I don't know when he'll join us again. Okay. Uh, do you feel like Garrett, if he stays healthy, can rise to the? I mean, he's so talented. So do you feel like? He yeah, can he's a, a premier back in this league if he's healthy. He's fast. He's got great vision. Um, again, his health has been the biggest issue with us, and, and that's part of being a good tailback is staying healthy. Uh, the guys we've added behind him, I think, are only going to make us stronger, and will make him stronger because right now he knows he's pushed and any slip up and he, you all of a sudden go from being your starter to your third tailback and, and he knows that and that's part of becoming a good team is having that depth at that position. Uh, quarterback, I know that you were really impressed with the strides Jade Ray made through the senior year. Now you kind of start from the one there. Did, did you like the spring of Stephen Cantwell? Had? I love him. I love him. And, and Cantwell's won a lot of games and in college football. He was a great player at Snow College. In high school, he won two state championships. I mean, this kid's a proven winner. He's tougher than Nels. Uh, I don't foresee one slip at all with him. And if you look at the way he performed this spring, I mean, that. Uh, that's the telltale sign he played great. So. Defensively, obviously, Trayvon Johnson, Josh Burton are both big losses. Um, what, are your, what are your impressions of the defense and how much did uh, 
getting to have a televac in the full hook when out. Well, a lot. Um, but the way our defense has been is if someone graduates or someone goes down to injury, the next guy's up. And we've had enough depth on defense to be able to handle that. Uh, I believe top to bottom, we got as many returning starters on defense as anybody in the league and good quality starters. So uh, our front seven should be solid. Our secondary's the most veteran it's been since I've been here. So I'm excited about watching those guys play. What's, uh, what's been the biggest key for you guys to, in building the defensive identity that you've been able to build these last couple of years and improve it? Well, two years ago we finished playing as good a defensive football as maybe anyone in the league for a while. Um, I think our last 14 quarters of defense two years ago, we were giving up 180 yards a game, and that was with some good teams, Eastern Washington, some good teams in there. Uh, we got to get back to that. We got to get back to playing physical and being disciplined. Last year, we had some key injuries that hurt us. We were playing with two freshman DNs, but uh, that's, that's not an excuse. That should make us better this year. These guys are coming back with some experience now, and I would suspect that we hit the ground running on defense. Coming off a playoff run, do, do you worry about uh, complacency yeah. creeping in, or how, how do you take that next step and maintain this, this level of playoff? Run? Well, we better not be complacent. <laughs> we won seven games. It's not like we went out there and won ten games, won a national championship. We got a lot. We got a lot to improve upon. Uh, there's a lot of optimism coming out of last year, but we, we've yet to arrive. I promise you that. And um, if our players feel that way, shame on them. Shame on any coach who would feel that way. Because, like I said, I don't care who you're playing in this league. The top team, the bottom team, anyone can beat you in this league. You better be ready to go. Thank you very much.